So this week's video is something that's been going on for a while. I just put a little question box on Instagram, some assumptions y'all may have on here set in the record straight, so I'll just jump right into it. The first assumption is that I wear eyelash extensions, and the answer is heck yes I do, because I can't be walking around with a bare face and no makeup and have nothing. I need a little bit of something to feel pretty, so I don't recommend them if you already have beautiful eyelashes. You don't need them. They're not for everybody. Okay, the next one is that I eat mostly plant-based and my husband does not. That's kind of true, actually. Andrew is a meat lover and I'm not. I am i don't really eat completely plant-based. I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. I used to be vegetarian, but I'm not anymore. I eat my meat sparingly. I only eat light meat, but yes. That is absolutely true. Me and my family are artistic, all artistic and chic. I would say we are all artistic, yes. I have two other sisters, two older sisters. My oldest sister has a pacifier and like swaddle baby shop, super successfully for the last few years. So I consider that to be an artistic thing, being an entrepreneur and starting a business. My other sister is an artist as well. She's like professional at party planning. If you saw my baby shower, you would understand what I'm talking about. And my brother, you know, I don't know if he's art considered artistic, but he's very athletic. My mom is a big interior decorating person and she loves creating and making things. And my dad is a, a huge reason why I'm an artist, because he illustrates. We would sit down at the kitchen table and draw cartoons together because he loves, he does cartoon art like Disney. So yeah, I would consider us all pretty artistic. I don't know about chic, but thank you. Me and Andrew never fight and we're both easygoing and we're super relaxed. That couldn't be further from the truth, at least the first part. We absolutely argue. I mean, every couple does. We don't really have like heated arguments. We just bicker about little unnecessary things and we get over it minutes later. So yes, we absolutely argue, but I would consider us two pretty laid back. We're both pretty mellow people. Andrew though, if you get him going, he's crazy. He's, he's like life of the party. He's really funny. I spend a ton on my wardrobe. I wouldn't really consider this true because a lot of the clothes that I buy are usually used or I buy them and then I resell them or I thrift. I really love the whole cycle of buying and selling and reusing. That's why I, I even have an Instagram and I sell my own clothes so that I can feel like they can have a, a new home since so they're not just sitting in my closet and wasting space and I'm wasting money so. I really feel like I use my money pretty wisely when I shop. I get ready most every day. Absolutely not. <laughs> Most of the days I'm wearing sweats and his old like t-shirts with holes in it. My house is always clean and beautiful. Thank you, that's so nice of you. Absolutely not though, <laughs> it's not. My studio usually is the messiest part of the house because I don't know, maybe it's an art artist thing, but it's like a chaotic organized mess. There's just stuff everywhere, but I know exactly where it is and where it goes. It's just, it's kind of insane. My house actually has like no shelving, no storage, no cabinets nothing so we are very careful on the things that we have and how we store them because we don't have any space like privacy space to put things away so that can get really messy really easily especially just having exposed shelves all the time it's really not beautiful and clean all the time i sure wish it was but having a one-year-old crawling around and pulling things off shelves is kind of impossible so that's life though so it's okay I didn't know what to do with the careers, so I found a calling with watercolor. That's not true, actually. I either wanted to be an art teacher or just a teacher. Before I started pursuing watercolor full-time, I was a teacher. Teaching was always on my radar. I was going to school for elementary education. My plan is to work in my children's schools however way I may be able to. Watercolor just kind of fell on my lap. I was super lucky that I was able to pursue it full-time. Otherwise, I would be teaching. Really, ultimately, I would love to teach art still. I would still love to be an art teacher. Doing this workshop this coming May in Utah is a huge step for me because it's the first step of me actually teaching art. But my true passion is teaching children because I just love children. Yeah, I'm just lucky that watercolor kind of just happened for me because painting has always been just my side gig, just my hobby, what I love to do, and it became my job. I'm really lucky that that's how it came to be. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yes, that's true. That I'm ridiculously organized. Like I said earlier, I'm like a chaotic, organized mess. So I don't really think that would be considered organized, but I like things the way I like them, if that makes sense. So kind of, 
but kind of not. That I have false eyelashes and false nails. I already talked about my eyelashes, and no, these are 100% real. I don't think I would be able to paint if I had fake nails. That would drive me insane. I'm very down to earth and kind hearted. That is so nice. Seriously, thank you. That's so nice. I mean, I would hope that I am like that. That's what I would strive to be, so if it comes off that way, thanks. I really hope so. I have a good singing voice. I mean, uh, no. I mean, I wouldn't say no. I can just, I mean, I can sing hymns in church. I can hold a note, but no. Andrew has a really great singing voice. Funny little fact. Actually, not funny. This makes me mad. When we first started dating, Andrew used to play shows at a little venue in our, in the t in our town that we met. And he wouldn't tell me. Like, I would be working one night, and he would be singing in a, con in a show. And he would never tell me, hey, Celeste, I'm singing tonight. You should come see he never told me until like later down the road when we were dating. He, he's really funny. I don't know why he's he's kind of shy. Not shy, but he's, he's very humble about his musical talents. So yeah, Andrew can sing. I can hold a tune, but I wish I could. You spend most of your time at home and don't want to get out and travel. Yes and no. I spend my time at home because I work from home and I'm a workaholic. So that's why I'm home all the time. Not because I want to be but it's kind of turned me into a homebody. And me and Andrew really enjoy just chilling in at home and going on walks. But I mean, who wouldn't want to travel? I would love to travel. I think I'm too much of a workaholic and routine person to just get up and go and travel. So props to all the people that can that do that because I'm living vicariously through all of you. You make enough money by painting alone so you can live comfortably. So first of all, I think anything money related is super personal. But I wouldn't say I'm, I'm living comfortably whatsoever. I mean, me and Andrew, just like anyone, every now and then we'll be hanging by the skin of our teeth. So all I can say is that we're both trying our best and I work my booty off. I work really hard. I don't give myself any breaks ever. Andrew could tell you, two weeks after Wild was born, he would beg for me to nap while Wild was napping. And I'm like, and I'm in the back of my head, I'm like, no, I need, I need work, a family to help raise. So absolutely would not say I'm living comfortably because I, I work really hard. And being an entrepreneur is really scary because some days, every single week is something completely different with your income. So it's nothing is ever guaranteed. All I can say is that we're both trying our best and we work really hard takes me two to four hours on average to make one custom painting. That totally depends on the painting, honestly. I remember I did this huge painting of a car and it was super detailed. It had like an exposed engine and that took me months to paint. But then I'll have a regular pet portrait and that would take me a couple hours for sure. On average, maybe it would be around two to four hours, but like I said, it completely depends. This most recent painting I did, it wasn't a custom, but it's one of my most recent release that took me probably about a month to finish so totally depends i'm in my mid-20s yes i am i turned 26 this sunday this week and i literally can't believe it i feel like i'm 16 years old and i just got my driver's license okay y'all that's it for now if you have any other questions just shoot me a message and i'd love to let you know more i hope you like this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe and to follow me on my socials so y'all can be a part of more videos in the future. I'll see y'all next time.